there seems to be echoes of division running throughout the readings today. Jesus in the gospel saying he is telling people this, though they do not believe what he's saying. There is a division there. In the Acts of the Apostles, the first reading, we have yesterday listened to the account of Stephen, St. Stephen being killed. And straight after his death, there seems to be division in the community. The Jewish Christians seem to have stayed around Jerusalem. The Greek Christians seem to have been expelled. There seemed to be a division between God's people. We celebrate today the feast day of St. Catherine of Siena, who too lived a life in a time in the church when there was great division. It was the time of the Avignon papacies when the Pope's Pope actually lived outside Rome because of the divisions and danger in Rome itself. All of this division set against a backdrop of our Savior whose desire is that we would all be one, that we would be united, that he is the bread of life that has come down from heaven. That bread that we know, the bread that we eat, is made of so many ingredients from so many parts, but united together to become one unit. That is Jesus' desire for God's people, that we would be one. Even for his listeners, they found it difficult to be one. In a few verses further on from where we have read, his listeners will say, this is intolerable language. Jesus simply asked them, do you want to walk away? He doesn't say he's going to change what he is proclaiming in order to make them happier. Sometimes the temptation is that we try to change God so that God becomes acceptable to us rather than change ourselves so that we become acceptable to God. We gather this morning when there's I suppose division around our world, our Catholic world, as we, as, we, as we have been separated and divided, unable to gather physically present at Mass. Know that you are deeply missed and that you're at the heart of our prayers as Christian community, as we too desire to be back together at one, as one body. Today we ask the Lord to nourish us spiritually at communion time, but also we would be nourished and fed by his word. And as we gather throughout the community, live stream for our mass this day, we ask the Lord's protecting guidance and strength as we turn now to the Lord with our prayers. <clears throat> 